Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from ExecuteAutomation.com and welcome to the all new video series on understanding Docker for Windows video series. And this is going to be a completely new video on Docker and in this video we could talk about an introduction to Docker for Windows. So what is Docker? Well, in a nutshell, it's a software containerization platform and it provides abstractions of operating system level virtualizations. And in a high level, these containers contains a real operating systems, software that you build, dependencies to run softwares, environment variables, and you name it. It can contain anything. So these are what is containers and containers are a lot more than this for Docker for Windows. We'll be talking about that in this series. So these containers are VM images, right? That's the question. Well, I would say yes, but there are more abstraction than virtual machines in containers. So virtual machines includes the application, the necessary binaries and libraries and an entire GIST operating system, all of which can amount to tens of GBs. Whereas the containers includes the application and all its dependencies, but shares the kernel with other containers. So running in an isolated process in user space on the host operating system, Docker containers are not tied to any specific infrastructure. They are run on any computers, on any infrastructures and on any cloud. And that's the power of the container itself. Well, wait, we have already discussed about this, don't we? Of course, yes, we did. We discussed about all these topics that you are seeing in past three slides of this video in understanding the ABC of Docker's video series. And we have another video series on Docker named Selenium Grid with Docker's. We have already discussed about Docker's a lot on spinning up and running a Selenium grid with Docker's. So we have already discussed about basics of Docker's, but those are Docker, maybe we can say Docker for Linux. But right now, Windows has introduced Docker support out of the box in their own environment. So, which is great. And that's what we're gonna discuss. So Docker for Windows is available from Server 2016 operating system and Windows 10 Anniversary Editions. So these are the two supported operating system for now. So even if you have Windows 8.1, no, you don't support. Even if you have Windows 10 without Anniversary Edition, no, the Docker for Windows is not gonna support. So you need to have the Anniversary Edition updated for your Windows 10, and then you should have Server 2016 operating system. So only these two operating systems currently support Docker for Windows. And now you can ask me, we have already discussed about Docker for Windows in the previous video series. So is this something different? Of course, yes, it's completely different. So is there any difference between Docker's for Windows Server 2016 and Windows 10? Because Windows Server 2016 is altogether a server operating system and a Windows 10 is a client operating system. So is there any difference between Docker for these server grade operating system versus the Windows 10 client operating system? Well, the answer is the big S. There is a huge difference between both of these operating systems as well. So now you will have a question. This Docker for Windows is not going to run a Linux operating systems that we were running before in our understanding the ABC of Docker video series. It's not like that. It's going to run the real Windows operating system on Docker. So it is a really, really cool thing that Microsoft has did for past two years of development with Docker. And that's the result, what we are seeing it right now. So we'll talk about more on this Docker for Windows in our upcoming videos of this course. But as of now, just stay informed that yes, Docker for Windows is also different for both the server grade operating system and a client operating system, which is nothing but Windows 10 Anniversary Edition. So in a very high level, let's see what is the difference between a Windows Server 2016 containers versus Windows 10 containers. So a Windows Server containers shares a kernel with the container host and all the containers running on the host. So you can see that Windows Server containers shares the kernel so the kernels of the operating system which you're running, the Windows Server 2016, is being shared by the containers host in all the containers running on the host. So if you have like 10 or 15 containers running on your Docker, then those containers are gonna share the same kernel as of the host operating system, which is the Windows Server 2016. 
As that said, the Docker daemon for Windows Server doesn't run Linux image, as I already said. No virtualization is involved. The Windows Server containers reuse the host kernel and creates a sandboxed environment for the processes exactly like it does on Linux operating system. Which is really cool, because so far all these days in our previous video, which is nothing but the understanding the ABC of Docker video series, we were talking about running the Dockers on a Linux operating system. So we see that the Linux, the Mobi Linux, right? That is the operating system that we were running. It was actually sitting on our Hyper-V and the hypervisor was actually pulling in the operating system and then we were trying to run all these uh, Linux commands over there. But right now we're gonna run our Windows commands on these containers, which is really, really great. And what's the difference between Windows 10 containers? And Windows 10 containers, I would say, is otherwise called as a Hyper-V enabled technology or Hyper-V containers. Because Hyper-V container does not share the kernel of the host and the kernels are not shared with the Hyper-V containers as well. And you can see, this is really, really an important line. Hyper-V containers does not share the kernel of the host. The reason is because currently the containers operating system is only a nano server and a Windows Server Core. So there is only these two images available on Docker and hence the Windows 10 container cannot share the kernel with the server image, right? So there will be a conflict. Basically the idea is this. Your image kernel, which is built on Windows Server 2016, should be exactly equal to the kernel of your host operating system. But if you take in our Windows case, the kernel is going to be a Windows 10 kernel and the image which you are going to pull from the Docker is going to be a server kernel. And there will be a conflict because the server kernel is not equivalent to the Windows 10 kernel. And that's why in Windows 10 as of now, only the Hyper-V container is being supported. Meaning, in Hyper-V container, it's going to download the whole image of the Windows Server core kernels and nano server kernel or whatever kernel that you can talk about is going to download that and it's going to run on a hypervisor and that's the reason the hyper-v containers are not going to be sharing the kernels of the host so if it's really not making any sense or if it is really confusing just go and google it about it you'll understand how things are working but we'll be talking more about that while we start working with the windows 10 containers in our upcoming videos of this course so since it is going to be running on a Hyper-V containers, they are running in a highly optimized virtual machines and completely isolated, which is a good news. So too many things to discuss, hence let's get started and understand how things work. So once again, thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day.